going to show Bill what, what a, a traditional Norse Staffordshire oat cake is and how to cook it. Okay, now these oat cakes were made freshly this morning. Right, so I want you to put one down. Now you get your cheese, and take a piece of bacon, some freshly chopped onion. Right, now what we're going to do, we're just going to fold it over. Like that. Put these in the oven for 10 minutes. If you ask anybody in North Staffordshire, they'll always tell you that cheese and bacon is always the best. So we decided to challenge each other to making sweet oat cakes. I decided to make caramelised apple with toffee sauce oat cakes. So I simply sautéed the apples in a little bit of butter, added a dash of sugar, and then let it cook for a few minutes. I added another dash of sugar, cinnamon, and then lemon zest, and then cooked for several more minutes. Once it was all looking rather lovely, I set it to the side, and then started to make my toffee sauce, which was simply butter, dark brown sugar, and cream. Once this was all mixed up and looking quite nice, I served the apples on top of an oat cake, added the toffee sauce, and then served with a dollop of ice cream. That is absolutely stunning. The farm is a 188 acre farm. Um, actually, it's more or less run by myself these days. But it's an enjoyable environment, and uh, I enjoy doing what I'm doing. As in Staffordshire, of course, it's a central county, which is ideal for bits and pieces coming in. I think it's, it's very good to produce as much as we can in this country without importing it. Um, I think also good wholesome food with a lack of chemicals is another important thing to do away with a lot of the ease and with being locally grown of course it can be in-house very quickly. Pork is a versatile meat really and uh, I always enjoy my roast pork naturally as you can see in the background there. Um, Long and slow is the only way really. I think if you've got the arger or some way of cooking like that, don't rush it, take your time, don't overcook it, it goes dry. Uh, apple sauce is a must of course, but uh, yes, that's the way to do the pork, long and slow. So after this we really felt the need to go cook a nice bit of pork, long and slow, as recommended. Okay, we started by taking our pork rolls, slicing the skin, and then covering in cider vinegar before sticking in the oven for an appropriate amount of time. We then boiled and semi-roasted the potatoes, glazing some carrots and beans in stock and butter, which basically meant we cooked them in the stock. The butter then attached to the vegetables, we took the vegetables out and then let the stock boil down a good bit before adding again. And then once our pork was cooked, I added some syrup and pork stock to the juices, left the simmer and then served. <laughs> 